Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. I kind of wish I didn't have to make this video, but I'm kind of in a situation where I kind of need to, to kind of clear the air, because something happened over the weekend that was quite disturbing uh, for me and my wife. Now, the person that I'm getting ready to talk about, I'm not gonna give no names, I'm not gonna give no phone numbers, I'm not gonna do anything. I will paraphrase some of the stuff they said. Um, if need be, and this person wants to continue, I will uh, go ahead and show off these emails that were sent in. I will also show the text messages that were sent to family and friends. Now, this person, basically what happened is me and my wife, uh, actually my wife first woke up. She had a client that reached out to her and this person got a text message, not a Facebook message, but a text message, basically trying to reach me through her and my wife. Now, basically what they said was, I'm a bigot. Um, the reason why they say I'm a bigot, because they say I used uh, anti-gay hate speech, just because I called Chili gay and I've done it before. And basically what they're, they're, what I'm getting out of it is they think I'm some kind of hate monger just because I made a joke. And, you know, it is sad that it come to that. Like, it shouldn't have. It sh really shouldn't have. Like, I've made these jokes before. Um, I've always been pretty kind to the LGBTQ community. I actually love that community. I have a lot of people that I know that are in that community. And the funny thing is, um, and I'll explain a little bit further, a little bit further. Um, so some of the people that I hang out with that are in the LGBTQ community, um, they laugh at the joke. They're not offended of the jokes because I'm not personally attacking gay people or trans people or anything like that. I don't do that. I don't get on a soapbox and yell and scream how that's bad and terrible because I don't think that's true. That's Even if I'm a Christian, a white male Christian, I think you should be able to love whoever you want to love. Um, I'm not going to get into the semantics of it, but I'm not going to tell you you can't do that. Um, if you love somebody, just love them. And I know that's going to be a controversial like statement to a lot of people, uh, especially you're thinking, well, you're a Christian, you shouldn't believe in that. Um, I'm not the one to decide what's good and bad. I'm not. I'm not the judge. Ultimately, God's a judge. I don't know what God's going to think whenever we're ultimately judged. Um, so, you know, I, as somebody that used to be a super big atheist, a uh, hardcore, like, super leftist, and there's nothing wrong with being a leftist uh, because I'm, like, right there in the center. I'm part Republican, part Democrat. I wouldn't even say I'm Democrat or Republican. Like, either one. I'm right in the middle. Like, I see good on both sides. Um, you know, I had somebody call me a MAGA Republican, and I'm like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, but I have been called uh, ultra MAGA, and I'm like, okay. And when you hear about MAGA, like, you see the stereotype of some dude that, like, hardcore racist and uh, holding tiki torches and has, has Trump stickers on their car or some sticker that says LGBTQ, but it's all done in guns. Um, that, that kind of person you see, that stereotype. Um, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not here to say who you can and cannot vote for. I'm not gonna say who you can align yourself with. That's not my place. You're allowed to be your own individual person. But anyways, this person, what they did was they went through the Facebook uh, there's like my my Facebook's private for the most part. I, I don't think you can actually access my Facebook. Uh, and my wife, I think she found out that some person wasn't private. And this person basically went down a list, and they saw saw me on her friends list. And instead of sending Facebook messenger messages, they actually got their phone numbers, texted them, and then they texted my wife or myself via messenger and say, "Hey, this came through here." And basically what it was, was these people was saying, well, you're a bigot, Derek's a bigot, and I want to complain to about him about his bigotry. Now, we was pretty shooken up by that because there's a lot of bad things that could happen when something like that occurs. Number one, doxing is a really bad thing, uh, especially you know if they get your information, they get your address, and we're like, okay, we're gonna send a SWAT team to your home 
and possibly get you killed. That's happened. Um, do some research and you'll find out that's true. This person said they didn't want to email me because they said my email would have went through a spam filters and they don't like to email. Well, you can always email me. Like I always look, I always read my emails. Sometimes I don't get a chance to reply, but I always read my emails. And you're welcome to email me anytime you have some kind of uh, disagreement with me or anything like that. But these people who was receiving text messages um, basically saying, hey, uh, Derek's a bigot. Do you know about his bigotness? And I would like to get a hold of him. Can you pass this along to Derek's wife or him? I actually replied back to the, well, actually, it's kind of, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So after a while, my wife was pretty upset, pretty mad. Uh, she's told me since the beginning of this that I shouldn't be doing this, and I am hard-headed. I learned the hard way not to be doing this, um, and it really got to her. It really got to her, and it got to me, too. We was afraid that one of these few things would happen. A, she could have lost her job. Somebody that had nothing to do with anything that I posted on YouTube. She could have lost her job uh, just because they had to make, they got offended. Um, somebody could have got really scared, really scared. They would, probably would have changed their phone numbers, have to change all this other stuff. This, the weird thing about it is, too, is, you know, they was calling me a bigot and while they're doing that, they actually texted people that are friends of mine that are actually in the LGBTQ community and calling me a bigot. Now, I don't understand that. Maybe these people don't know what they was doing, and it kind of seems like that. This, I don't know the age of this person, but just the content that was in the messages, the emails I received after I posted on the community page that, hey, I'm going to contact the authorities which I didn't. I did talk to some people that were part of that to kind of get some information on what I need to do. But whenever I posted that, shortly I received a big long email and this person said, finally, you saw my emails and basically apologized. And uh, when I found out, I took a look at all the text messages that were sent to these people and they were all by the same phone number. Not only that, in the email, the person included their full name. Um, basically, the subject just said meow. It's like, okay, I don't know who it is. It could have been a fake name. could have been a fake phone number. I don't know that. I don't know this person. I, I don't know what could have happened. If they're willing to go through our friends list and contact people via text message that has nothing to do with my YouTube channel, it's hard to tell what they would have tried to do. I don't see, I don't see how it's justified to try to ruin somebody's life just because you didn't like a joke I said. And this happens all over the time, all over the place. Uh, people get offended, and one of the things they want to do is they want to cancel you any which way they can, just because the joke wasn't funny to them. Uh, they said that I was a bigot. They called me an American bigot, and I tried to reply back. And one of the things I said, I say, like, "Well, maybe you're right. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, can you give me some advice on where to go with this?" I'm always open to it advice sometimes I don't heed that and I sometimes go back to the same things I used to and like I said I have to realize that I can't make jokes anymore because if I do make jokes something like this happens but it's okay for some you know some guy to get on YouTube harass cops you know wish cancer on kids be a racist take their money being a sexist uh all for domestic violence and being a real person that does not like the lgbtq community, Q community but if you actually make a joke about the lgbtq community you're getting canceled no matter what doesn't matter doesn't matter if you are you know like the head of the pride parade if they say oh you made a joke about a gay person let's make you lose your job let's let's tell the whole world that you made a bad joke it, it was it ultimately it was a bad joke person also said about a glorified rape now Chile's going to prison and there's a lot of jokes a lot of people said it it's very common there's been movies about this stuff like they say hey prison rape that's that's bad you shouldn't you should glorify prison rape and you know I thought it was funny because you know Chilito dropped the soap. That's funny. That's hilarious. Him getting raped's not really funny. 
but just the connotation of hey don't drop the soap and I I actually called my video I think I said chili soap time or something like that and they said that I was glorifying rape pretty much and included in the video after chili gets arrested there are some clips of a not a parade but riots and this person did not even take the time to research the fact that these had nothing to do with G LGBTQ stuff. Um, these had nothing to do with it. Some of it was just the summer of love stuff that happened a couple years ago where all the cities were getting burnt down because uh, MAGA and all this stuff. And some of it was the Palestine-Israel conflict, uh, BLM, whatever. People want to riot, they riot. And there's plenty of uh, footage online to do that. I did not put in a pride parade or pride riot, which I never see a bunch of people as part of the, the LGBTQ community go out and destroy things and riots and cause all kinds of shit. I don't see that. That, that never happens, really. Uh, but these people, this person said I was glorifying, uh, making fun of the riots and say that it was like lgbtq people that got hit by cars and all this stuff and there's a part there's like this cop car surrounded by people and um it was a violent protest it was not a peaceful protest the car got surrounded uh the car got beat on somebody smashed the back window with a skateboard and the cop tried to get out of the situation, sped up, and knocked somebody off the roof. This person said that I was basically glorifying people getting hit by cars, which I wasn't. I wasn't at all. It just happened to be in there. I didn't get on there and be like, ha, this is hilarious, guys. Like, I hope all people get hit by cars. I, I hope all that stuff happens. That's the best thing ever. Uh, go Trump. I, I never said that. Never said that, not once. You hear me in the background while everybody's screaming. I'm saying, you took our fraud. A play on the, you took our jobs from South Park. I said, you took our fraud. That's all I said. I didn't say anything else. I didn't say anything stupid. Like, there was nothing there. And the whole thing was like making fun of Chili because he's got put in jail. Now, the second video I put out, the one where I did the fake interview... And I made fun of Chili saying he was not a straight man. Uh, I never said it was bad to not be straight. I never said that. Not once. Not once. I always, like, I've messed with Chili for a very long time. Like, when we first met, I knew, I knew questioning his sexuality really bugs him. So he wants to be an ass, so I'd be an ass back. Again, I have to realize that it's 2024 and I shouldn't be making jokes. You're not allowed to make jokes. It's not allowed. You just can't do it. Um, but this person emailed me and I tried to talk to them. Uh, I emailed them maybe three or four times. I put together another email that I was going to reply back to them with. But they basically sent me this thing that I'm not reading your stuff and I'm paraphrasing here. I'm not re reading your stuff because you're a toxic person and the people that didn't reply to the text messages, they're the problem too. And basically, whenever they probably watched the first clip and they seen that, they already had their mind made up of what kind of person I am. They already did. They're already projecting their insecurities on me because I made a joke it hurt their feelings. We're not allowed to laugh anymore. We're not allowed to make jokes anymore. We're not. We're just not allowed. It's just not happening. Not at all. Not at all. You just can't make jokes anymore. It's not funny. It's you, You're going to get canceled. And I've had people say this to me all the time. It's like, hey, don't say those things. And I try not to. But whenever I talk about chili, I do. Like, sometimes I do. To mess with him because I know it fucks with him. Like, I know it bothers him so much. But, again, I, I, I got this email, and they called me an American bigot. They're not going to reply back to me or read my emails and not hear me out. They're not going to research what kind of person I actually am. They're not going to do any of that. They already had their mind made up before they even emailed me. The justification to 
go after me and contacting friends and family, that makes your movement look really bad. It really does. It makes it look terrible. So, in that logic, if you was to make a joke about, you know, me being a fat, depressed person with one testicle, and I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's offensive. Let me call your work or your best friend or uh, your dog and be like, hey, this guy doesn't like testicles. This guy's fat and depressed. He's pro-testicles. I only have one. I didn't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that stupid. And it is. It's really stupid. There's no justification for it. Not at all. Cancel culture has gone too far. Like, way too far. Everybody is so fucking uptight. It's crazy. Like, it's insane. You just cannot joke about anything. Anything. If somebody is part of the LGBTQ community, they saw me and they made a joke about me, I'm not going to freak out and cause an uproar online because it hurt my feelings. I'm just going to continue what I'm doing, walk away, and forget about it. Yeah, it might bother me for a little bit. And there's ways you can communicate, but you dislike what I said. You could have went through the comment section or emailed me or made a video about it. Some people just get on Twitter and they said, make this big long diatribe and say, cancel this guy. This guy sucks. I'm not Adolf Hitler. I'm not Adolf Hitler. I'm not any of that shit. I'm not an American bigot. I just like jokes. I'm immature. I'm 36 years old and I still like fart jokes. It probably says a lot about me. And, you know, me saying I like fart jokes, is that going to offend you as well? Are you going to contact that people on my Facebook or, you know, the yellow pages and be like, hey, this guy's a serial fart lover. I don't want anything to happen to you. I could have turned that in. I could have been like, hey, this... I could have been like, hey, I got to contact, I don't know, let's just say the FBI or something like that. So this this uh, guy decided to contact me, committed a cyber crime, which it is a crime. Um, a doxing is a crime, no matter how small it is. That is a crime. You can get in serious trouble for that. I'm not going to do that to you. Unlike you, that I'm, I'm not going to justify my, my actions by terrorizing you. And I'm not going to do it. And if you had a job or family members or anything like that, I'm not going to contact them and tell them how bad of a person you are. That's really fucked up. Just because I made fun of Chili. Now, this person basically said Chili was a bad guy. I don't think this person was pro Chili. I think this person saw me make a gay joke and they got offended and they took it to one big extreme that they shouldn't have. Really, I and a lot of you might disagree with me on this. Um, and I'm prepared for that. This might be one of my most disliked videos. But I have never had the intentions to hurt somebody. It's never been that way. It never will be that way. And if I hurt Chili's feelings, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about that. I'd rather hurt his feelings than have to hear about, you know, this guy making money after he beats women he has a history of that shit he has a history of being racist he has a history of you know saying he has cancer and getting money from it if you get pissed off at me because I made a joke saying he dropped the soap or he had sex with a hundred dudes who cares who cares like, live your life. Have fun. Stop being so uptight. If you want to fight for a cause, fight for a cause. I'm not fighting for a cause. I am on the internet. I, I want to make YouTube videos that make people laugh. And sometimes comedy is uncomfortable. 
not everybody's going to get it. Not everybody's going to be like, yeah, that's awesome. They're not. It's just the way it is. Comedy has always been subjective. What you may like, some people might not like. But the justification for attacking somebody by including, you know, going after people on their personal cell phones, texting them on their personal phone numbers, that's a step too damn far. That really is. And I don't care if you think I'm an American bigot. I don't really care. That's fine. You can label me however you like. If you want to put my head on a poster and say, hey, look, this fat guy, he hates gay people. I know it's not true. A lot of, most people that know me know that's not true, but you're more than welcome to say that. I might dislike it, but it exists. You can put whatever labels you want on me. You, you're projecting anyways at this point. You are projecting your insecurities on me just because you got your feelings hurt. And it's terrible. It's really terrible. Like, big time. And I'm not even... I'm not mad at this person. I'm not even angry at this person. At first, I was. That's the thing. The first... I was very angry. I was scared. I was scared for my wife. I was scared for her, her livelihood. I wasn't upset that they was offended. I was upset because they was willing to go that far to try to get a response. And guess what? That worked. You got the response you wanted. You didn't want to talk it out. You didn't want to have a conversation with me. You didn't want to have any res look up any type of research on me. I'm not a big YouTuber. I've never done something like super like terribly controversial. Except for say something like that. Make make a gay joke. I also made a, a short person joke out of it, too. So, I mean, there's that, too. I mean, are you going to be offended because I said, oh, he's short, he's a leprechaun? It's it's just fucking stupid. I'm really, I'm like, I'm, I'm pissed off about that. I don't want anybody to ever have to go through that. I don't want this person who did that to me to go through that. It might seem minimal. This person's might think, hey, it wasn't that bad. It could have been. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. I don't know what you was capable of. But I'm not going to report you. I'm not going to do it. Because as a human being, there's no justification for me to do it. Unless you would have went way further than that. So I'll let it slide. I'll, I'll just drop it and I'll try to be careful not to hurt anybody's feelings anymore. But that's going way too far. That's way too far. I don't want you to get in trouble. If you didn't mean it like you said you did, I don't want you to make that same mistake on somebody else and get in serious trouble. I don't want that for you. I don't want you to lose your livelihood. I don't want you to have a stain on your record. I don't want any of that. If you get to know me, I'm a pretty good guy. Like, I'm a pretty good dude. If I, I like to think so. You know, that might be, you know, subjective, but I like to think I'm a pretty good person. I just, I'm just immature and I make stupid jokes from time to time. So I'm going to stop, stop right here. But anyways, guys, I love you. And if you want to reach out to me, please reach out to me via email or the comment section. Thank you, guys.